an honor to welcome you all to today's panel discussion on integrating rural women producers in global food chain food value chain organized as a part of world food india 2024 event today we will explore how rural women entrepreneurs contribute to the food processing sector and discuss ways to further integrate their efforts in the global food value chains before i uh, before we begin i'd like to introduce the dindayal ubadhya national rural livelihood mission dai nrlm a flagship program and the ministry of rural development government of india launched in 2011 dai nrlm aims to reduce poverty by enabling poor household to access gainful self employment and skill wage employment opportunities through this mission strong grassroots institutions of the poor are built empowering household to access resources solidarity and opportunities DNRLM has uh, successfully mobilized women across India's villages into self-help groups and their federation currently encompassing over 10 crore women in 92 lakhs SHGs across 7612 blocks and 7 lakh villages. So now let's move on to our panel discussions and hear from our distinguished panelists. We have Sri Charanjit Singh, Additional Secretary Rural Livelihood MORD. he'll provide an overview of nrlm's initiatives highlighting the mission's impact on empowering rural women producers and its role in integrating them to the larger economy and we have a panel uh, we have a panel uh, uh, on different topics and the speakers let me just introduce the speakers and the topics for the day the first topic is women entrepreneurs in food value chain nutrimix uh, that will be done by mr navin chief operating op officer of kudumbashree Mr Navin ha uh, has been with Kudumbashri for over 1.5 years serving as a chief operating officer he has overseen the financial inclusion programs in Kerala also and we have an SSG member Shrimadi Bhagiradi MV she is from Ammu Foods Pal Palakkad uh, her business focuses on producing traditional food items like pickles and jam and our second topic for the day is rural enterprises and incubation initiatives and the speaker is dr rajeshwari director rural livelihood mord she has an international masters of science in rural development uh, from a german university and a phd focused on food security and farming systems and climate change she is dedicated to creating sustainable uh, livelihood opportunities for rural communities our third topic for the day is impacting quality at the primary production stage and the speaker is mr rohitashwa gakar director operation iccoa uh, international competence center for organic agriculture he has extensive experience in managing organic certification programs and has been instrumental in promoting organic farming at both national and international levels our fourth topic is women entrepreneurs in food value chain india food court and canteens and we have speaker mr shreyas kashyap thematic anchor marketing kudumbashri nro he is a post graduate from tata institute of social sciences and an expert in rural livelihoods as a thematic anchor for marketing in kudumbashri nro he had been leading the food uh, service enterprises project across the multiple states including bihar madhya pradesh odisha and uttar pradesh we also have shrimati tuliga gogoi from kamrup assam she is an ssg member of madurga ssg and she started her venture dimcha mushroom cooperative society in 2019 Our next topic for the day is empowering rural women entrepreneurs through science and technological interventions, innovations, and we have Dr. Sangeeta Agarwal, who is a scientist uh, from Office of Principal uh, Scientific Advisor, Government of India. She is a biotechnology expert with over two decades of experience serving as a scientist uh, in the Office of Principal Scientific Advisor to Government of India, and her work focuses on leveraging science and technology to promote rural uh, entrepreneurship. and uh, our last topic for the day will be women entrepreneurs in food processing industry uh, by mr subranshu sanyal he she he is a passionate startup evangelist currently serving as a ceo of iim calcutta innovation park with a strong background in innovation and management and entrepreneurship he is actively involved in building an ecosystem that nurtures sg led entrepreneurs and uh, we also have ms rinku berman who uh, she has she is a founder of ringo oyster mushroom processing set, uh, center specializing in the mushroom based products and her enterprise has achieved a remarkable growth with revenue of more than 30 lakhs in the last financial year also we have mr raminder singh rekhi our consultant of dnrlm he has an extensive experience in rural development and sg entrepreneur he will be moderating today's session uh, 
with a wealth of knowledge and diverse experience on our panel today i welcome all the speakers on to the dais and also i am inviting sri charanjit singh sir for his opening remarks so panelists can join or they will join afterwards so as they wish no problem <laughs> so thank you very much uh, and a very warm good morning uh, to all the participants uh, who have joined uh, here so first of all i would like to thank my team members and uh, all the panelists uh, and the other guests here that on a such a short notice they have joined here so you may know that hardly one week back uh, we thought about this panel discussion and then we you know, arranged everything and i am quite happy that ultimately we could uh, have this panel discussion so basically the idea is that uh, let's discuss this very critical uh, food sector in its 360 degree that uh, what are the various issues and how we can move ahead in the future so that is the basic idea and i am quite sure uh, with the wealth the panelists have i this panel discussion will be really good and it will chart a course that we need to take in the future so i will just give you a brief background and some food for thought for you for the panelists to discuss in the brief time we have first of all as you all know that the day nrlm has uh, you know achieved uh, remarkable targets as you know that we are more than 10 crore so it's a very big number and uh, but mobilization is one part and uh, then we have done re remarkable work in the financial inclusion also so that also more than 9 lakh crore has been leveraged and the npa is also hardly 1 and 1/2% so this shows that uh, if we provide the money or funds to our rural women not only they use it properly they return it or it also with interest to the bank so this means they are doing something productive and now we are into the third stage of the movement that is the livelihood and uh, so this is a challenging aspect because uh, if we have done so much the aspirations of the people have uh, skyrocketed and as our honorable prime minister has given us a target of 3 crore lakhpati didis so so everywhere on every fora he mentions this not only his whether finance minister or other dignitaries they also mention about the day nrlm so the expectations are very high so we need to ensure that we give sustainable livelihoods to our shg members farming we are doing great and i am quite impressed the strides we have taken but the non farm sector it's a big challenge we are struggling continuously but i feel that in the non farm sector this food sector is the sector we have uh, you know achieved quite well so so this is the sector i think we need to focus on and we can make a great contribution why i am saying this so as our team members and other panelists will also say that uh, food sector has got a good amount of margin also 40 to 50% margin is there so that is very good achievement for our uh, women members so that if they work in this direction so that is the one thing second thing is this is the work our uh, shg members have been doing for a long time so they can really move ahead in this direction given some capacity building some hand holding i think uh, a great amount of work can be done so I, i feel that this is the sector where a lot of opportunity lies but how we utilize this opportunity that is upon us so i will just give you some food for thought for all you think about and uh, so i just jotted down some points for you so that the panel may like to discuss these points or uh, if they think it's uh, not right no problem they can discuss it and they can uh, whatever their suggestions are we will take them and we will move ahead the first thing i feel is the awareness generation 
So, we need to generate awareness among our members that this is a sector and or is ke kya kya ayam hai, packed food hai, raw food hai, cooked food hai, so many things are there. So, we need to think about this also. And after awareness, I feel that the second part is the capacity building. And this is my favorite dialogue. Everywhere I say this that uh, you do not uh, give the people fish, you just teach them how to catch the fish, then they can live happily ever after that. So, I think the capacity building and continuous capacity building and capacity building has also got various angles, because sometimes you may require mentorship at the higher level and sometimes you may require uh, some partnerships also, some buddy system, so that uh, you, you are guided continuously. So, I feel that this part is very important that is the capacity building. The second thing I feel is that we need to look at the future. So, where our country is moving ahead in the 5 years, 10 years, 15 years or as our honorable prime minister says that in 2047 we see ourselves as a very developed country. So, food sector ka kya hoga? So, I was Germany last year, so I was surprised to know that no, I do not remember the exact figures, some millions of pizza was being imported to Germany. So, that was cooked and being eaten. So, ghar mein khana banana to almost bandi ho gaya hai. So, rarely somebody cooks. Raw material or half cooked food comes, they cook it and uh, then it is served. So, maybe this is the future in India also. So, there is a huge market for this uh, ready to eat food. So, we need to think about this also how we are going to leverage uh, this part of the market and then packed food how it is packed. So, that also becomes very critical because now the people are becoming very health conscious also. So, if they, there is some negative publicity then whole thing goes down to zero also. So, you need to think also that how you can provide hygienic and healthy food to the people. So, this also becomes very important. And now here one more part comes out. Now the people are becoming conscious in one more way that sustainable, that how the raw material is being procured. This new generation I came to know that it is very conscious about these things, that how you are sourcing your rice or wheat, is it being done in a sustainable way or it is damaging the environment. People are becoming very conscious to the environment also. So, you need to keep this also in mind. So, I am just giving you some food for thought, just think about it and then you can deliberate upon it. And I feel that uh, there is a great potential in this cloud kitchen also, because if you cannot cook then you will want that how the food can reach your table in super fast way in 10 minutes or half an hour or one hour. So, that also become critical. And, and one more part I feel is very important is, is the dabba service, because you may want warm home cooked food in your uh, lunch also. So, that part is also very critical, how we work upon this. So, this you may also think about it. And the next part I feel is very critical is this sourcing of the raw material. I think there is a lot of potential in this part also, that how the raw material is being sourced and how we can partner uh, with multinational companies also, because they also require, you now I know that during the COVID period, our SRLMs did a good amount of business by procuring raw material from the rural hinterland and supplying into the, the urban. So, I think there is a lot of potential in this also. So, think about this also that how we can uh, work in this also, that sourcing of raw material for various activities. Then I feel is that one more part is very important that is the ethnic cuisines. And people uh, love to eat their uh, culturally related or heritage related whatever cuisines are there, some of them may be going out of fashion also. If somehow we can bring them on the table of the urban uh, customers, I think there also lies a great amount of opportunities. Like Kerala is doing, I know that uh, one 
chicken they make from that atta pade so that was a really a great dish and my family really enjoyed it and uh, so i know that there is a lot of potential in this direction also that how you work on the ethnic cuisines also and apna desh bhara pada hai ab kahin chale jao har district ke andar something something if you go to jharkhand you will find so many dishes bihar you will find so many dishes so everywhere there is a great amount of uh, dishes are there which need to be explored if you go to northeast then there are so many dishes like their bamboo chicken so i got an opportunity it's a really superb if you get an opportunity to eat you should matlab i will highly recommend it you should eat that so so there are so many things available and food is a sector ye kabhi fashion se bahar jane wala nahi hai baki so people are going to eat and people are going to eat more in the future also so there is a lot of opportunity in this direction also so i think we need to work in this also then i feel that we need to develop a brand also matlab hamara brand aisa hona chahiye ki people aapko pata hai ki pizza agar dominos ka pizza i eat in delhi or kolkata or bangalore i get a standard taste of that dominos pizza so why can't we have such dishes with our brand जैसे कुदम शेरिंग का ब्रांड है कि आई नो दैट दिस टाइप ऑफ टेस्ट इज विल बी देयर वेयर एवर आई ईट सो दैट आल्सो आई थिंक वी नीड टू वर्क अपॉन एंड वी नीड टू डेवलप ए ब्रांड इफ यू वांट टू गो ऑन ए लार्ज स्केल वर्किंग ऑन ए लिमिटेड स्केल इज ऑल राइट यू कैन डू सम इंटरवेंशन फूड ट्रक खोल लिया या क्लाउड किचन बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच टू द मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल देन यू नीड टू हैव ए गुड ब्रांड एंड यू नीड टू वर्क इन दिस डायरेक्शन ऑल्सो आई थिंक दैट इज one more field we need to work upon that how we develop our brand and i th- and i feel that this is the right time we need to make some beginning in this direction so let's uh, think about this also and like i mentioned earlier also we need to engage with uh, these multinational companies also those who are already in the market they may also they require various types of raw materials are at, at so i think we can work there also so there there is one opportunity available and in the last i would like to say that i uh, know i was reading in the newspaper in the morning only that uh, there is one new scheme has been launched i don't remember its exact name it's the tribal area development scheme around 74000 crore or something has been given and under that they are saying that we will provide one uh, room or for home stay for the tribal people they are going to give 5 lakh rupees to each household so why can't we you know, ensure convergence also with various scheme like swadesh darshan agar koi customer jata hai in the hinterland they want a total experience so tourism is one part and if we can you know, integrate this food also into that if that that ethnic cuisine can be provided to the tourist in that place i am 100% sure that people will not remember the stay they will remember the food they ate there because we also remember the food we ate in gujarat in one remote village till now wo kaise usne pyaaz ke sath humko roti badhiya bana ke kehte ki khilai thi jheel ke kinare pe jo hai so these are the some of the memories you cherish for your whole lifetime so can't we create uh, such type of memories for our people so i will stop here i uh, i have given you sufficient food for thought in the food summit so just think about it and uh, and enjoy it and uh, have a whale of time thank you very much thank you so much sir for the opening remarks and setting the context for today's panel discussion now i would like to request all the panelists and our moderator ekhi ji to come on to the stage mr navin uh, shrimati bhagirathi mr rajeshwari mr rohitashwa gakar uh, mr shreyas dr sangeeta agarwal Mr. Uh, Subranshu Sanyal, Ms. Ringo Berman,
technology has become a part of the overall market and as producers for us it is important that the primary food producer gets into value addition for them to move up the value chain lak karodpati bana lakpati banana hai didiyon ko to they have to add value to whatever they producing and food is one of the things that willy nilly is 99% of food is produced in rural india so with that i would start with uh, navin sir the in uh, one assumption is that shg and women in rural areas are not capable of doing business at scale or will not be able to scale up will not be able to manage uh, scale quality consistency etc uh, kudumshri has uh, been uh, running the nutrimix plants for almost 7 8 years or longer than that i mean i more than 10 years so i had huh? 16 years 16 years, 16 years. So, <laughs> so i had request navin uh, sir from kudumshri to share his experiences on the trials and tribulations and the fact that you've been able to do it consistently and provide high quality food for young children where quality is of prime importance any uh, mismatch can lead to illness etc so could you just share your experiences and the processes you followed respected asr uh, respected director r uh, respected uh, moderator to this uh, debate and dear participants a very warm good morning to you all first of all uh, i would like to express my deep uh, gratitude to the uh, officials of uh, nrlm and mowadi for giving kudumbashri this opportunity to uh, have a presentation on uh, food processing especially the nutrimix units which is a successful model of micro enterprise system in kudumbashri and it is one of the best practices also so uh, i will be having a small presentation on amrutam nutri mix uh, from the kudumbashri mission perspective and uh, uh, with me is uh, um, shrimati bhagirathi she is from uh, nutri mix unit uh, in palakkad uh, she can share uh, her practical experiences uh, in this uh, journey so this nutri mix is a a uh, cereal based powder mix which is developed by cp cri kasagod kerala and it can be consumed directly or uh, by mixing with the water or milk the uh, you might have heard of uh, icds that is integrated child development services scheme that has been providing uh, the food supplement to the children of age 6 uh, months to 3 years old so kudumbashri tied up with uh, the women and child development department in kerala uh, to uh, give this uh, uh, nutri mix which is a food supplement to the uh, children of age group 6 months to 3 years old uh, through the anganwadis free of cost uh, now we have around 241 nutri mix units all over kerala uh, each unit will be consisting of 5 uh, to uh, 15 shg members so altogether we have uh, 1578 entrepreneurs linked with this micro enterprises units and a lot of other shg women uh, working in these units as casual laborers also E, uh, each child will be entitled to receive 3.375 kg of nutri mix every month at the rate 135 g per day 
and uh, this will be conforming to the uh, Government of India WCD uh, uh, guidelines and standards. The main uh, ingredients of this Amartam Nutri-Mix are wheat 45%, sugar 20%, Bengal gram 15%, soya chunks 10% and uh, groundnut 10%. So these are the main uh, ingredients or uh, nutrients in this uh, uh, Amrutam Nutrimix. So Kurumbashri units supply around 20,000 metric ton of Nutrimix per annum to the uh, 33,115 Anganwadis in the state. The price per kilogram of this Amrutam Nutrimix now is 73.5 including the GST. These are the uh, vitamin and mineral profile of this uh, uh, Nutrimix. I am just uh, skipping that. Now Nutrimix fortification. In the year 19, uh, 2019, uh, we have done the fortification of this uh, uh, Amartam Nutrimix. We know that fortification is the practice of deliberately increasing the micronutrients and essential uh, uh, minerals uh, in the food so as to improve the quality of the food. And that fortification was a collaborative project between the Social Development Department, Kudumbashri and the UNWFP. And the dosage of fortification is identified by the technical advisory group formed in the state and the members of that uh, technical advisory group are the subject experts from National Institute of Nutrition, CFTRI, then uh, Government Medical College Trivandrum and also representatives from UNWFP. And it is chaired by additional Chief Secretary of, additional Chief, Chief Secretary to Government of Kerala. And this is the current statistics of uh, Nutrimix units in Kerala. A total of 241 units are running uh, successfully in this sector. So this is the timeline. We started Nutrimix units in the year 2006. And from 2007 to 2011, the units got established throughout the length and breadth of Kerala. And in the year 2011, we started a consortium at the district level and at the state level for these Nutrimix units. In the year 2017, we had a remarkable achievement that uh, the Nutrimix uh, supply was done to outside of Kerala. And it was for the first time that Kudumbashri gets an order from outside Kerala. I think it is uh, to an NGO, uh, the Child Fund of India, right? Child Fund of India, located in Jabua, Madhya Pradesh. And they have uh, uh, offices in uh, uh, Rajasthan, uh, Bangalore, etc. So uh, we got an order from them uh, in the year 2017. And from 2017 to 2022, up to the COVID period, we have been supplying uh, that uh, Amrutam Nutrimix to outside of Kerala. And in the year 2019, we fortified the Amrutam Nutrimix. And we can look at the uh, procurement steps. First, we uh, identify the FSSA approved premix manufacturing companies through e-tenders. Then the Kodumbashri State Mission will calculate the premix requirement per unit for its uh, Nutrimix production. And uh, there will be uh, uh, one to four premix collection points in each district based on the geographic uh, features. Uh, the Nutrimix unit representatives will come and collect this premix from the allotted collection point. The stock registers will be maintained at the delivery point as well as the uh, uh, Nutrimix unit. And the payment for the company is processed by the Kudumbashri State Mission. Uh, when uh, the fund is received from the Women and Child uh, Development Department. And now the distribution process. First, we collect the Nutrimix requirements from the Anganwadis by the ICDS supervisors. Then uh, the subsidized weeds will be allocated to units through the Food Corporation of India. Then uh, the units will start producing 
this amritam notary mix as per the standard operating procedure and distribute the packets to the anganwadis then anganwadi teacher supplies the notary mix packets to the uh, beneficiaries namely this uh, uh, children from the age of 6 uh, months to 3 uh, years then kudumbashree will uh, collect the wheat utilization certificate from the districts and submit to the women's and child development department this is the distribution uh, 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 process then the quality improvement measures uh, the as the moderator uh, insisted the quality improvement measures that kudumbashree has taken uh, uh, the every production unit will be following a standard operating procedure developed and approved by the government of kerala to ensure the quality and the kudumbashree district mission and the amritam district consortium will conduct first level periodic checks on the quality of raw materials as well as the finished goods then there will be joint inspections by the icds program officers and the district mission officials then there will be regular visits by the food safety officials and they will assist in this uh, unit to uh, improve their uh, production then sample tests will be conducted from each batch of production at the government analytical laboratory by the concerned icds supervisor so these are the measures we have taken to improve the quality of this nutri mix now the capacity building and support services provided by the kudumbashri first one is the training and capacity building we first uh, gave the general orientation training then we will give the entrepreneurship development program to the entrepreneurs then after that we will give the uh, entrepreneurs skill training in new nutrients production in collaboration with the cpcra kasar god then uh, uh, periodically there will be performance improve, improvement trainings on business management accounting production protocols production product diversification etc so that is all about a training and capacity building now monitoring and support mechanisms the district level monitoring committee is under the leadership of social justice department for supervision of monitor, uh, functioning will be there then supervision by the kudumbashri community development society or the clfs then liaison with the social welfare department at the state level and icds project uh, functionaries at the district and sub district levels then financial assistance like uh, uh, crisis management fund technology fund uh, then technology upgradation fund etc then cadre support from the micro enterprise consultants the mecs for streamlining the business operations then suppose uh, support of this kudumbashri accounts and audit services that is cas team for the regular audit of the enterprises these are the uh, support mechanisms uh, being given by the uh, kudumbashri uh, mission then uh, networking we have already a three tier community organization structure then the uh, notary mix unit level representatives the district consortium is there state level consortium is there and uh, there will be an elected and democratically uh, 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 team democratic uh, team of consortium members then uh, to facilitate the smooth functioning of the notary mix at each layer now uh, about value addition the value added products are the ones prepared using this amritam uh, nutri mix uh, one uh, uh, such kind is arogya mix which can be used by adolescents pregnant and lactating mothers and that also is distributed through the anganwadis in kerala the main ingredients are amritam nutri mix uh, itself then the mix has nutritional contents as follows then currently 4 kg arogya mix with 500 g of jaggery is given to the adolescents pregnants and lactating mothers per month through to this anganwadis the cost of this arogya mix is rupees 61.5 per kg including 5% gst another value added product is nutrimix cookies these are uh, meant for uh, children belonging to the age group 2 years to 5 years but can be uh, consumed by all age groups the main uh, ingredients are the wheat, uh, wheat powder rava amrutham nutri mix ghee sugar cardamom powder milk etc and this is the details of nutrient contents in this uh, uh, nutri mix cookies 
and the cost is rupees 3 per cookie children in anganwadi sir given two cookies in a week these are other value added products uh, i would like to uh, just mention and uh, we know that this value added products are uh, having short uh, shelf life period so we are focusing on this diversified products so this is the list of uh, diversified products almost all the units in all the districts are having various types of diversified uh, products other than this uh, uh, nutri mix now we can have uh, an analysis on the economic empowerment among women uh, uh, entrepreneurs the production and financial status in the uh, past 3 uh, years in the uh, year 21 22 we had uh, 16 tons of annual production and an annual turnover of 123 crore in the year 23 20 22 23 uh, the production increased to 18 tons and the turnover increased to 134 crore and in the last financial year the production reached almost 20 metric, 20000 metric tons and the total turnover reached almost uh, 149 crore and is the uh, uh, statistics of uh, women entrepreneurs having their own land out of the uh, 1578 entrepreneurs 857 are having their own land or they are or the, or they have been able to acquire their own land just uh, through this uh, nutri mix uh, units and now we can see some of the challenges in the nutri mix sector uh, there is some delay in getting the sample test result from the government analytical uh, laboratories uh, it, uh, often it takes uh, more than 45 days for getting this uh, test results and the enormous hike in uh, sample test charges by these laboratories then uh, delay in revision of price in accordance with increased the raw materials and other operational cost i think uh, the price was fixed in the year 2015 after that we have been revised the price of this uh, nutri mix even though there is a uh, considerable uh, uh, rise in the uh, price of raw materials and other operational cost then the uh, there is payment delay from local bodies for the supply of this uh, amrutam nutri mix so these are the main challenges faced by the nutri mix uh, uh, me units now the future plan we are focusing on to develop a single branded health mix throughout the state especially for this elderly people having uh, uh, diabetes so uh, kerala is a state where uh, almost all the people are having uh, uh, lifestyle diseases so uh, there is a large scope for this uh, 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 i think uh, health mix in kerala then technology upgradation to enable these units for production of uh, value added uh, products and the uh, to expand the production of value added products and diversified products in almost all the uh, nutri mix units and to set up a local distribution network to distribute the uh, supplementary uh, products so these are the future plan of uh, kurumbashree in the sector of uh, nutri mix that's all uh, thank you thank you for a very detailed presentation uh, bhagirathi ma'am would you like to share some of your experiences while running the nutri mix i will uh, most of them are told by our sir then i will start at the business uh, this nutri mix enterprise on 2006 onwards and uh, when i started the unit I, i am a middle class family and i have no other uh, no other source of income so i will decided to join kudumbashri in 2004 and also for, from there i will started the uh, unit as in a, like bakery products seasonal food products first of all we will started in the name of ammo foods like some like that time the nutri mix training will come and i will also join in to go to kasaragod and take training and uh, we have five members in the in our unit 
and we are all ready, ready to start the units. But in 2006, the order will get. And 2007, January, we will start it with 3,000 kg per month. Now, we, we will produce 17,000, uh, 17 MT in month, one month. And also, we will uh, produce uh, some Arogya mix like that, 15,000 per kg. Then value addition also we will do. Uh, only 15 days only the production of Nutri mix. After the uh, 5 days leave, then 10 days we will do the value additional products like that. Now, uh, we have a turnover of 2 crores and 45 lakhs per annum. Thank you. So, uh, the experience of Kerala shows So, uh, the Nutrimix unit, the experience of Kerala shows that SAG members can produce goods at scale and can do value addition and reach large turnovers with quality and consistently over a period of time. In spite of having challenges of uh, late payments, etc., they've been able to manage and sustain themselves in spite of these challenges, which any business would face while in, uh, being in the market. My next panelist is... Thank you very much for a nice presentation, but uh, I have only one worry and uh, you know, I have seen it myself because uh, what are the business aspects? So you know, is it running in profit or uh, so that I want to know and, and if it is not running in profit, then who is taking care of the, that difference? And the second thing I want to ask is that like you mentioned about this rate revision, so not only rate revision, sometimes the payment from the concerned department also becomes away. So, so these two things I want to know. Uh, sir, uh, at present the units are running uh, prof on profit. But the profit has been reducing over the years since there is no revision of uh, price for the last uh, uh, 10 years. Uh, well, the second uh, question was, sir? Delayed payments. Uh, delayed payments. Uh, now, the um, almost uh, eight to nine months delay is there in the payment from these local self-government institutions to these Nutrimix units that uh, we are uh, uh, escalating to the higher authorities to uh, reduce the delay. Yes. We are ready to plan like that. <laughs> and uh, second request, sir, is whenever you renew your contract, build in some factor of an automatic price revision based on uh, food inflation. Yes. They are uh, metrics which are which the government releases, government metrics. So you can use that as a factor for automatic increase, irrespective of. Uh, a uh, long-term uh, negotiation process happening. Uh, it can be either upwards or downwards. Yes, the hurdle is that the uh, <laughs> increase the price has to be borne by the LSGIs. <laughs> okay. So as Sir said, you, uh, you have the expertise of managing food business. So reduce your dependence on the government. Government has helped you in building your com competence, getting your machinery free, etc. You learned how to do it. And like you're doing 15 days of production for the market and making money, everywhere else, the other units should also work on this thing. And there is potential for these kind of products, like you're doing the uh, stuff for the adolescents, etc. That is something that we need to work on. Yeah. And the rest of the states will have to, whenever they get into this kind of stuff, will have to blend both of these businesses so that one part of it takes care of my fixed cost, the second part of it, which is the market-based thing, will get, get us the revenues and the profits. Yes, that is why we are focusing on these uh, value-added products and uh, divisive, diversified products. And if we are uh, selling it uh, through the uh, marketing networks of Kodumbashri, like uh, Nano Markets, uh, Kodumbashri Bazaars, etc. And what uh, ASR said, the power of a brand, the power of a government brand 
is reasonably good it builds a lot of trust yeah. so if we build if we invest in building a brand you can sell all your other food products also under the same brand yes, kudumshri is well known in kerala i mean it's a trusted brand in kerala yeah. so if it if the mothers can trust it with the babies i'm sure the other customers will trust it for themselves yes uh, the next panelist which i request to speak is uh, rohit ashwa from ayuka he is an expert on uh, natural and organic farming so could you just share your experiences and he's been worked with nrlm uh, extensively uh, in the last 2 3 years so i request him to share his experiences on uh, the sag members producing high quality organic or natural products which have a potential for larger markets and getting involved in the value chain thank you sir <coughs> My name is Rohitash Gakhad. You can call me Rohit. I represent International Competence Center for Organic Agriculture, ICOA. We are based out of Bangalore, but we work pan India in the organic and sustainable agriculture. Uh, uh, sir, uh, I'll start with uh, means now we are this the uh, my earlier uh, earlier presentation was a success story. So from the success story, we are moving towards a sector sectoral uh, uh, thing. so this would be a little different uh, presentation which would be little no knowledge oriented to uh, uh sir charanji sir it is always means i am so excited always to listen to you means whenever we get an opportunity uh, when you covered almost the food for thought which you gave in the uh, means in the introductory session that is for me it is much more to chew in 10 minutes means <laughs> that's a lot of food but we will try to means uh, cover some of these points so what i will try to do is my presentation would be i can see some of the didis who are also there so aap uh, aap uh, you can understand english aap ye samajh sakte hai na thoda thoda samajh sakte hai to main kuch kuch i'll for you i'll try to mix up also uh, yeah perfect thank you so i'll yeah no, no, for for everyone i think we'll have to mix it so my uh, because i we, i cannot expect that from our kerala business group <laughs> so uh, see my presentation what i will i will try to um, the the flow would be like this i'll just in one slide i because i know this this is also advantage speaking first is that we uh, don't get a ping from the moderator the last in the queue will get that ping time management so i will try to cover a, a slide on what is organic agriculture then since this is a global food we are talking about making inroads into the global food market so what is the opportunity means is that opportunity there and then for our groups means our our didi log agar hame organic mein jana hai so how do we do that means what 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 do we do so this is what i will in briefly in 10 minutes because that's the time i was told so i'll try to cover that so coming to the first point is the organic agriculture now again sir this is food summit and food is the central matlab food jo hai wo center mein hai what organic agriculture gives us what organic agriculture addresses is ecology environment jo shayad जो विच इज एन एजेंडा विच इज टू बी डेल्ट बाई दी गवर्नमेंट मीन्स इकोलॉजी का फार्मर तो क्यों वाई शुड द फार्मर एड्रेस इकोलॉजी सो इम्पॉर्टेंट इज इकोलॉजी मीन्स इकोलॉजी से हमारा मतलब ये है कि अब सॉइल हेल्थ का इम्प्रूवमेंट है विच इज अगेन अ बिगर एजेंडा सॉइल कार्बन सॉइल सिंक यू नो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल सो दिस ऑर्गेनिक एग्रीकल्चर कवर्स ऑलमोस्ट फिट्स इन टू सम ऑफ द एस डी जीज देन important is food food i said it it is in the center so food to sabke liye important hai all of us means all our consumers everyone food is for me my child you know the the kind of product they are also developing nutri mix means for for pregnant ladies for infants so food is again means and and when you get a no no chemical food jisme pesticide nahi hai to usse badhiya kuch nahi hai finally more important are the most important stakeholders they are the farmers hamare didi log kisan log jo jo who produce do they are the most important people wahan economics hi important hai what is important for a farmer is that what he earns from his products to uske liye kya karna hai ye hame dekhna hai and that is where you know 
the all the initiatives and efforts of from the day nrlm under the leadership of uh, charanjit sir madam so this all is uh, being means leading in a very very nice way sir already said that food is something food sector is doing good so they already have that confidence you know in 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 the sector now coming to the quickly coming to what are the what is the potential a potential kya hai today the total market size is 11500 crores 11500 crore ka total market hai jisme ye figure shayad kisi kisi ko bada lagega lekin main thoda acche aisa explain kar deta hu so that everybody can connect to it 7000 crores we have been exporting ye figure mein kuch change hua hai there is a change because of some issues you know at the equivalence uh, in organic certification at the international level and we also have the parallelly equally important domestic market which is 4500 crores and sir very right rightly said that we will have to look into the importance of processing means sir already said mentioned that abhi abhi kya hai ki rte ready to eat ka time aa raha hai means you talk about europe you talk about america means developed countries abhi in 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 fact in uh, cities like delhi where both the cup means the, the couple is working uh, the husband and wife both so they are more on sham ko kya karna hai order karte hai ya ready to eat leke aate hai wo khate hai so they, this opportunity is there now this is the current scenario but jo total market hai wo hai 12000 sorry 12 lakh 50000 crore ka 12 lakh 50000 crores and this is going to grow at 40000 ye 40000 crore ho jayega lekin hum abhi jo hai hum kahan hai sirf 11000 pe to hame kitna potential hai just just think about it there is a huge gap e even if we think about 11000 to 2 lakh crores then only we will be only 2% so organic sector mein hai organic food mein there is a huge potential which we will have to tap into these are some of the figures i will not means uh, take more time on this the the organic uh, farmland means global is around 96.4 million hectare and we have organic 4.4 4.5 million organic producers the why why i am you know showing this to you this is important to know that out of the 4.5 million organic producer across the world india is on the top we have india has maximum you know india tops the list of organic producers in in the world kyunki hamare hame malum hai we know we have all small marginal farmers hamari land holdings kam hai so and and also thanks to the many many good programs from ministry of rural development ministry of agriculture so it is being supported like anything and more and more uh, so mass uh, uptake of organic production systems is there तीन कंट्रीज में ये हैं सो दिस इज दिन मीन्स वी हैव मोर नंबर ऑफ मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ वी टॉप द लिस्ट फॉलोड बाय युगांडा और मार्केट के हिसाब से देखते हैं तो यूएस में सबसे ज्यादा सबसे बड़ा मार्केट है उसके बाद यूरोप में मार्केट है इसमें मैं ज्यादा नहीं जाऊंगा बट इंपॉर्टेंट टू सी कि किस तरीके का कॉमोडिटीज बाहर एक्सपोर्ट में जाते हैं तो उसमें आप देखिए अच्छा डिमांड जो है वो प्रोसेस्ड फूड का है आप दोनों तरफ देखिए ऊपर जो है that is us exports to us and niche mein exports to eu it means european union europe ke desh uh, so th that is maximum is for more, around 50% is the processed food which is getting exported so that that's again an opportunity organic karna hai is one opportunity organic ko adopt karna hai is one opportunity and second opportunity is that we have to means get into the uh, processing so then uh, medicinal plants spices oil seeds dry fruits essential oils so all these have uh, uh, good uh, scope this i i the the ppt would be here in kisi ko chahiye to aap inse le sakte hain and this is how means these these are the uh, may, uh, commodity wise product wise the countries where we are exporting so i am coming to the next slide now this is again important hum total local groups which have been you know we have uh, uh, for last two years we have been closely associated with the uh, and nr under the nretp program promoting organic farming and certif or organic adoption and certification programs 
So the, we have handholded around 14,700 local groups, which amounts to around 2,33,000 women farmers who are, uh, means Mahila Kisan Didi, who are directly associated in, in the participatory guarantee system program, PGS program. Now quickly coming to the next point, see these local groups are basically typically they are 20 farmer group in the participatory guarantee system we form a local group and local group comprises of 20 women farmers but you know that doesn't make sense if we have to get into if we when on the one hand we are talking about the global opportunities we started with global opportunities we saw a huge uh, domestic market also like in a beast Mahila Kisan ka group usko cater nahi kar sakta hai. So that is why we have been, the ministry is also now in the next phase, they also emphasized on producer enterprises, creating producer enterprises. And this is producer enterprises is very similar to Government of India's another program, which is promotion of 10,000 uh, farmer producer companies. Means this is more or less the, all the, the basics are similar. So now we have to do that local group has a farmer interest group, so we will take local group as a, we will consider local group as a farmer interest group. And then, you know, those joining together, for those uh, farmer, in, uh, those local groups, maybe they can be federated at the block level or at certain level into one uh, producer enterprise, which can finally means get, have their own business plan which will which will have a legal entity and finally they work as uh, as as a professional business enterprise like you know uh, our friends from kerala they are already doing rohit i'll have to request yeah, you to I speed know, up sir. please yes <laughs> so okay so i i'll just quickly touch upon also the organic certification there are two types of organic certification programs we are into the pgs side on that side so uh, uh, total mein is mein nahi padunga this uh, means that uh, uh, and this is the third party organic certification if we have to go in, into the export side then we will have to uh, get into some of our groups you know the uh, earlier i in the last slide i mentioned i was trying to mention that these programs projects has to be crop centric uh, so that we identify means like we have seen the commodities we, we know medicinal plants we know spices have good potential so those have to be developed and finally means those identified programs should be shifted from PGS to uh, third party organic certification so that we can you know take it uh, to the at the global uh, this thing. And then uh, of course means I wanted to address this too. They, they, there has to be good branding, labeling, processing, primary processing you know at the farm, farm level processing has to happen. We, wherever we can have integrated bigger bigger processing units should be done and uh, uh, then the you know the marketing initiatives it has to be connected with the marketing initiatives and lot of thing is happening means uh, Jharkhand also has their own brand so I we, we have we, in several places we, in one of our efforts uh, we were able to connect the um, bird's eye chili in Mizoram you know to to and with an export consignment so that was a proper flag off by the minister of rural development uh, Mizoram and all this can only happen by a proper capacity building so the capacity building which has to happen at should be at the level of it means those creating producer enterprises at the production level there are means we already have those modules were there which we have been you know training and doing then certification what is which certification how it is done the processes then finally post harvest and market linkages the aggregation should be there how branding should be done how to do a buyers handling handling with the buyers and very good initiative uh, taken by under the leadership of charanjit sir was we did a lot of buyer seller meets also during our tenure so we did a buyer seller meet at the national level we did the buyer seller meet these are some of the pictures i'll just run through you know some programs which we were doing at the state levels and the BSMs, we, we done regional, at the regional basis, for the southern India, we did it in Chennai. For the northeast, we did it in Guwahati. For the national level, we did it in Gurgaon. This is the picture of the Gurgaon uh, national level buyer-seller meet. 
and uh, means in maharashtra also means at state level srlm sorry state level bsms have also happened a very very good program uh, was done uh, with the maharashtra state rural livelihood mission so so these were some uh, means we did uh, sir you know he was so uh, enthusiastic that he wanted to visit a, a good organic farm so we visited mr bharat bhushan tyagi's padam shri dr bharat bhushan tyagi ji's farm which is just around uh, 100 150 kilometers from here so a lot of things have already happened for ecoa we are already means uh, uh, handling working with 1 1 lakh 98000 farmers and we have been doing india organic trade fairs means other than our uh, projects other than our grassroots level work we are doing india organic we did india organic trade fair we are uh, working closely with nuremberg messe uh, biofac india and biofac germany uh, we are also doing uh, with the government of karnataka international trade fair organics and millets state level programs we have been handling with chhattisgarh we did organic chhattisgarh himachal pradesh we did organic himachal pradesh then bsms we have been doing means other than uh, yeah, uh, we, for we, srlms i am finishing sir closing so okay <laughs> okay thank you very much so thank you uh, thanks rohit that was very informative and uh, let's hope as you suggested we move into the formal third party certification and are able to achieve the get into the global value chain uh, no more than that i would just want to add one thing uh, through jnrlm we would like to prefer to go for self certification pgs would be our preference ra rather than for this third party thing because its first thing is a costly affair for our farmers and second thing already many states are by default organic hai and we just need a sort of uh, saying that on a, on paper that these are organic so we don't want to spend more on uh, uh, the certification thing where already it is known that it is um, certified and uh, practiced over long years so uh, at this forum i would like to ask ecova in coming years to support more with this pgs and also reduce the cost of certification for our uh, kisan Maila Kisan Log Jo Hai through our, who are a part of PGs, PEs and FPOs and push more for this. It should become a practice rather than somebody, we, we already know our, humare bache healthy hai. Baju wale aake nahi bolna chahiye ki your baby is healthy. We know it already. So that certification thing, we want to have our own system to be established in coming years. So moving forward, another in intervention that NRLM has been doing and doing successfully in uh, showcasing to the world that SEG members are able to do great uh, businesses and are able to sell ethnic food very well is the India Food Court. Shreya sitting next to me has been involved with it. Uh, over to you. You share your experiences. Uh, yeah. So uh, India Food Court is one of the models that um, is present here. So maybe I would like to suggest everyone ki after you're done with the panels and your participation in the discussions, please head over to the food court and you'll be able to interact with the SSG women who have been deeply a part of this uh, since a while. And learning, interacting with them directly would basically instill confidence to everyone actually. And maybe we, we are able to touch different nuances of their lives in which we, we are able to track their journey in the last four, five years. Uh, how they have grown as entrepreneurs, how they have grown in terms of uh, future business leaders because of the right approach that NRLM has taken. So I just want to talk more about the food service angle because Sir also had brought in, the, in his uh, initial address of uh, how do we look India moving ahead. Yeah? Of course, looking at a developed country, a lot of uh, the workforce, they have uh, expendable income and food remains one of the major sources wherein the money gets spent by, say, the urban crowd, the rural urban crowd, and going into the future, the rural crowd as well. So as uh, it was mentioned in the early um, early phase that we are entering or we are into the phase three of uh, NRLM, wherein we focus very highly on livelihoods, wherein first uh, efforts were mostly taken for mobilization and then financial inclusion. Now talking about the rural uh, setup, if we talk about rural setup, ki baat kare, 
uh, when an SHG member had access to finance, setting up a food service enterprise, a small small uh, scale or, or a very small canteen or a kiosk or a thela uh, was the reality. A number of such enterprises came into being because of traditional knowledge of engaging with ethnic cuisine and some level of domestic cooking that majority of the SHG members were involved in. So the idea of setting up food service enterprise was probably one of the more popular enterprise options that was prevalent in all states. So no state can really say that food service has been our idea because consumption of food, cooking of food is a practice that is common everywhere. Now, when a number of such enterprises sprung up, there was a need or there was, we, we realized, uh, talking about NRLM and all the SRLMs together, there was a huge realization in terms of scaling it up in terms of market access. Because the accessibility of the idea of setting up a food enterprise was open everywhere. It, it was in captive markets, it was in open market, it was in all institutions. And that is where SRLMs took a special initiative through convergence. And we entered into a lot of institutions wherein the visibility got a boost. And with a better visibility, with a better acceptance through all levels, the market also increased. And that led to a different phase of uh, or different perspective of looking at a food service enterprise run by SHG women. That is the time when uh, also gaining some experience from Cafe Kudumbushri food courts that were happening in uh, Kerala as a part of Saras. In 2019, this was tried at a national level. Because uh, we could see that in some sp uh, spaces wherein SHG entrepreneurs were involved in such market density places to maybe coming together for 10 days, uh, serving ethnic cuisines, they, are, they were able to have a very good revenue that would maybe be uh, equivalent to their six months of earning uh, from their enterprise. Because of an access to market, because of a better publicity, because of ownership by different institutions and market accessibility. In 2019, right here at Prakriti Maidan, we got a chance to try this out. In February, the idea was tried out and there was a lot of confidence building from the SHG side as well as the ministry side. And that is when the India Gate Saras was conceptualized and India Food Court was launched first in 2019 at India Gate grounds and where everyone really realized what the potential can be. And the realization was more on the part of the SHG members. Because operating from their small enterprises, whatever they had started, did affect sustenance. They were getting enough revenue to sustain uh, a livelihood option for their family, and of course, a bit of saving. But then this was the first platform where the total revenue crossed one CR. around uh, So one crore, uh, the revenue was divided across uh, say on an average of 20 food stalls. So the earnings exponentially grew. And that is when the 20 SAG groups that uh, were a part of it re realized the value of it. We have been able to continue, uh, uh, we have continued uh, the evolution of such platforms at the national level. And then slowly with each, ed I, I don't mean to say we have reached the final efficient level of such platforms. But then we are in a stage wherein we have been able to instill the confidence apart from SHG members, but to all the SRLMs. Because the national events are very few in number, it's really good when we want to prove a model. In the last five years, the model has been proven. The SHG members have built a lot of confidence. There has been a right path of capacity building wherein we have built on their capacities to engage with market. We have built on their capacities to have a decent customer service perspective. We have also, um, in, in the last couple of editions, we have started analyzing data of what kind of items are being sold, what kind of items are being sold on which days, at what price, price point are the customers more uh, comfortable with. So having very deep discussions with the SRG members in making them understand ki what all dishes are have a propensity of better being sold in which all areas. So they are able to maybe project their production uh, plan for the next weekend, or maybe if it's a religious holiday, what kind of business decisions they need to take in order to cater to the right, right customer. So we are on the right trajectory wherein we have also integrated data management, data analysis, and the discussion at their level. So uh, hoping that we continue the trajectory, 
now the idea is ki at the national level uh, we have a model which is india food court a part of saras we have also showcased this as a part of the world food india but the idea is to develop a chain because a certain of course as i mentioned we are 10 crore member family strong yeah right but then here you would say 20 groups of sgs getting a chance or maybe 50 groups of sgs getting a chance or 30 groups of sg getting a chance okay the model is all right in our experience but the number is not exponential the number is still limited if we do not create a channel through which a higher number of sgs can get access to that there are still things to be done so right now when we have set up the national uh, platform we are in the works of developing very diversified low cost ifc models at the block levels and district levels because not every mela or net, not every event has to be a 17 day 20 day long there are so many religious events there are so many tourist events happening at block happening at district level or state level which could be two days or three days so the idea is to move into that segment which is completely open and these are very regular in nature every block may have one big religious festival every fortnight wherein those sg enterprises of that particular block or district has to come together now we are talking about very low cost models but a very high number of model happening throughout the year even if they are able to uh, participate for two days supply food from the training that we have we have been giving them it is not difficult to bump up their revenue by 10 15000 every week if we add on for the whole year that is quite sizable that will basically shadow their earnings for the whole year so that is the model that we are moving into now because having proven a national model there is a very important need to have a model in which all the sgs could connect and relate that being said the food as well, festival being the uh, being the part the next thing that we are focusing on is building brands that is still a new area but then packaged foods to urban centers or ready to eat foods or the branding that at the state level that we are going to try in the cloud kitchen services being the next phase of uh, uh, food service enterprise under nrm that we are going to try hopefully the next year we meet with a lot of learnings from uh, those interventions and we are able to build upon that thank you so much tulika didi is फूड कोर्ट में पार्टिसिपेंट हो नमस्ते मेरा नाम तुलिका गोगोई स्वर्गीयारी है मैं आसाम से हूँ मैं 2016 से ही एस एल एम से जुड़ी थी आ, उसके बाद में 2018 में मेरा मशरूम कल्टीवेशन स्टार्ट किया था तो 2019 में मैंने वैल्यू एडिशन का कुछ प्रोडक्ट तैयार किया था तो उसी वक्त हमारे एम से कुछ लोग वहाँ पे गए थे तो हम लोगों ने उन लोगों को खिलाया था उसके बाद ही मतलब 2019 में फर्स्ट टाइम इंडिया गेट लॉन में हुआ था ये फूड कोर्ट इंडिया फूड कोर्ट हुआ था तो उसी टाइम मुझे हमें मतलब आने का मौका मिला हमारा जो कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी है उसी को आने का मौका मिला तो तभी से मैं आ, हर साल आ रही हूँ इंडिया फूड कोर्ट में पार्टिसिपेट कर रही हूँ अभी दिल्ली में गुड़गांव में नोएडा में और मैं केरला में भी बहुत बार जा चुकी हूँ तो मेरा डिफरेंट मतलब तब मैं क्या थी अब मैं क्या हूँ उसके बारे में थोड़ा मैं बताऊँगी पहले तो मैं हाउसवाइफ ही थी आ, बस बनाने का खाना बनाने का थोड़ा शौक था तो और कुछ डिफरेंट बनाने का शौक था तो इसीलिए मैंने मशरूम शूज किया था और मशरूम सिर्फ प्रोडक्शन ही करके मैं मतलब वैटी नहीं थी तो मुझे लगा था कि कुछ अलग करना चाहिए कि इसमें से क्या क्या कर सकते हैं तो उसमें से ही हम लोगों ने पहले स्टार्ट किया जो हमारा मतलब ट्रेडिशनल फूड है उसी में जैसे हम चिकन चार बोला बोला था कि नॉर्थ ईस्ट में बेम्बो चिकन बहुत फेमस है तो उसमें हम ये मशरूम का भी बनाया था बेम्बो मशरूम बनाया था तो एम लोग जब वहाँ पे गए थे विजिट करने लिए उन लोगों को भी खिलाया था उन लोगों को भी बहुत पसंद आया था वो ऐसे ही जो हमारा एथेनिक डिश है वो सब हम लोगों ने बनाया था पहले उसके बाद जो पार्मिनेंट वेलोरेशन है 
जैसे कि कुकीज़ हैं चॉकलेट हैं नूडल्स हैं भुजियाँ हैं वो सब बनाने के हम लोगों ने ट्राई किया तो एन से ट्रेनिंग किया बेकरी का तो उसके बाद हम लोगों ने वो स्टार्ट किया 2020 लास्ट में वो पैकेजिंग वगैरह अभी वो एम पेविलियन में मेरा प्रोडक्ट है वहाँ पे मशरूम चॉकलेट कुकीज़ पाउडर वगैरह है तो उसके बाद हम लोगों को मतलब बैठने का कभी मौका नहीं मिला है आगे ही जा रही हूँ उसके लिए हमें पहले तो हमारा एस को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बोलना चाहूँगी उसके बाद एम को एम आर डी टीम वहाँ पर गए थे उन लोगों को हम लोगों ने खिलाया उसके बाद पसंद आया इसीलिए हम लोगों को बुलाया था स्पेशली मशरूम के लिए आ, इंडिया फूड कोर्ट में और जब हम लोग पहली बार मतलब आसाम से बाहर पहली बार आई थी मैं दिल्ली में आ, वो भी फूड बिजनेस के लिए तो वहाँ पे हम लोगों ने जहाँ हमारा वहाँ मतलब सारस किया था वो तो इतना क्राउड नहीं होता है जब यहाँ आके इंडिया गेट में देखा तो इतना ज़्यादा क्राउड है इतना ज़्यादा ज़्यादा सामान बनाने का भी हमारा कोई मतलब आदत नहीं था लेकिन उसी वक्त हम लोगों ने हम लोगों को कुटुम्बश्री टीम ने जो उन लोगों का कैफे मेंटर है उन लोगों ने बहुत सपोर्ट किया हम लोगों को मतलब कुछ डीज वगैरह बनाने के लिए जो मतलब मसाला वगैरह हो कुछ कुछ का हो जो क्वांटिटी है ना मतलब ज़्यादा सामान बनाने के लिए क्वांटिटी का बहुत मेजरमेंट बहुत ज़रूरी है उसके बारे में हम लोगों को बहुत अच्छे से सिखाया तो उसके बाद हमें रोकने का मौका नहीं मिला है अभी आज मैं यहाँ तक आई हूँ एस एल एम की वजह से एम आर डी की वजह से और कुटुम्बश्री तो स्पेशली मुझे खाने के मामले में मतलब बनाने के मामले में बहुत सपोर्ट किया है इसीलिए मैं इतना तक आगे पा आ पा रही हूँ और एक बात सभी वो फूड बिजनेस के फूड बिजनेस में जो लोग हैं सभी का एक सपना होता है कि वर्ल्ड फूड इंडिया में एक ना एक बार मतलब पार्टिसिपेट करने का मौका मिला लेकिन मुझे आज तक मौका नहीं मिला था लेकिन इस बार मौका मिला एम आर को बहुत बहुत थैंक यू कुटुम्बश्री को बहुत बहुत थैंक यू धन्यवाद सभी को जैसे श्रेयस भी कह रहा था जैसे ये तो फूड कोर्ट तो जैसे दस दिन लगा पंद्रह दिन लगा तो ठीक है तो फिर मतलब उसके बाद क्या उसके तो क्या करते हो आप मतलब उसको आगे कैसे लेके जाओ बिजनेस तो मतलब आगे बढ़ाना पड़ेगा ना जी उसके बाद हाँ मैं ये बताना भूल गई कि आ, मैं अभी मेरा ऐसे तो हमारा कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी है उसमें तो टू हंड्रेड फोर्टी मेम्बर हैं तो उसमें से हम लोगों का जो हमारा आसाम गवर्नमेंट का एग्रीकल्चर डिपार्टमेंट है उन लोगों ने भी हमें एक प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट बना के दे दिया पूरा सेटअप करके दे दिया है अभी हमें सलाने के लिए पहले हम मैन्युअली करते थे वो प्रोसेसिंग अभी वो पूरा मशीनरी का सेटअप दे दिया है वो हमारा ग्रुप का है और मेरा खुद का एक ब्रांड मैंने टू में किया है तो पहले मैं घर से ही कर रही थी अभी मेरा पूरा यूनिट स्टार्ट हो गया है उसमें मैं ट्रेनिंग भी देती हूँ मतलब कम्युनिटी कैनिंग सेंटर भी है तो कोई लोग आके वहाँ पे सीख भी सकते हैं बना के लेके जा भी सकते हैं और एक माँ बाद में प्राउडली बोल सकती हूँ ये मैं खुद के पैसे से मैंने किया है मैं लोन भी नहीं लिया है थैंक यू थैंक यू रिक्वेस्ट डायरेक्टर मैम टू शेयर थॉट्स just to continue with the flow i would like to thank kutumbashri for working with us for uh, in this last 5 years but i would like to also use this platform to say in coming years you should also groom our didis to become to handle all these things by themselves e jo aapne kar rahe ho you have taught them beautiful lessons and uh, in in the coming years we should enable empower them to take it by themselves that is what and i also would like to thank you for all your service and what you have done in regarding food business okay with that uh, with due respect to all the dignitaries on the dais we have uh, as sir with us we have uh, representatives from giz ddz and who all are present and my mu team my colleagues are here and who are all in this hall i would like to once again welcome you for this uh, world food india ki jo uh, exhibition ho raha hai and also for this panel discussion and um, 
uh, ASR has always been supportive for whatever the new experiments we would like to uh, take up initiatives to say. And he has supported the ideas which we go to him. And uh, this seminar was also very well uh, discussed, conceptualized, kisko bulayenge, what how it should go. So I think the representatives who are sitting on the dais, we can uh, already get to see and from their words, what we are uh, trying to make out key, they are, they are speaking on uh, micro level. So we have one successful story, we have food uh, uh, business managing we got to hear and we will be hearing from uh, uh, technical uh, uh, department as well. So now uh, uh, with that, uh, con how that's what I wanted to share with you, how we conceptualize this seminar. And uh, ASR has already beautifully set the context uh, for this workshop. And representing uh, the ministry, uh, NRLM, I would like to delve a bit deep into this, how we are uh, dealing with this. So we are all are uh, here today to discuss four major things. First thing, as geographical-wise, rural area ke baare mein baat karne aaye hai. Secondly, gender pe women ke baare mein, mahilaon ke baare mein, amare didiyon ke baare mein. Third thing, uh, the focus of the discussion is entrepreneurship in general, but again, as it is organized by MOFP, it is a food enterprises. Food-related enterprises ke baare mein discuss karne ke liye, we are, all are here today. So what I would like to say, sir ne bola tha, livelihoods, uh, we are working, uh, with livelihoods, Hamari bahut sari journey raha hai from uh, mobilization. We started with social mobilization. Then we went to financial inclusion. Now the era is starting with more of economic inclusion. Jab main economic inclusion bolti hu, and I already said we are working in rural areas, to kaisi uh, livelihoods ho sakta hai? Economic inclusion, we are trying to address it majorly with creating livelihoods. And may, rural areas, may we know very well farm livelihoods farm ki taraf se uh, zyada contribution rahega. 60 to 70 percent of the livelihoods can be created in uh, farm sector and uh, uh, next baki jo hai remaining would be from non-farm. And I feel I don't really find a clear cut difference between farm and non-farm. It's always like a very thin line because if you see for example, with this PMFME scheme itself, it was a very big uh, discussion whether it, go, it should go to farm or non-farm. Because we work in both the sectors. The uh, raw materials that come from farm, ki taraf se, jo production hota hai, that is the raw material uh, for the non-farm activities. So there is no such uh, di uh, demarcation or uh, none of these sectors can operate successfully in silos. So we deal with both farm and non-farm uh, sectors and creating livelihoods to, uh, through these sectors. That is the uh, motto of uh, NRLM. And when I say uh, farm sector, mein, I would like to give you a few statistics, few numbers dena chahti hu, because what we are doing in creating entrepreneurship in farm sector, that is very important. We are working in uh, uh, interventions like agroecological practices. That's what we were discussing uh, before this session started. So we have reached out to around four crore women. I would like to uh, say proudly that four crores women are involved in our initiative of agroecological practices. Through uh, lively uh, livestock interventions, we have reached to 1.5 crores. And uh, we were talking about Nutri-Mix and those stuff. We are also working in Agri-Nutri Gardens. And we have reached around uh, 7.4 crore didiyon ko hamne milaya hai. Agri Nutri Garden ki intervention mein. So along with the uh, self-help group ki jo amari institution se, I would like to say we also have parallel institutions. We have created very successful institutions of producer groups. Across the country we have 1.73 lakh farmer producer groups which involves 30 lakh women ke saath hum kaam kar rahe. We also have big enterprises. PG to both chote level pe ho gaya, thus 10, 15 members ke saath. But we have producer enterprises where we work with 30,000, 20,000, 15,000 women in a group. So we have such 445 PEs across the country with whom we are reaching out to 10 lakh women. And we have FPOs, might be it is also a part of this 10,000 FPO scheme, uh, Central ka. Through that, we have formed 779. We have we had given a target of 800 FPOs to be formed. We have uh, very proud in saying we have already reached seven, 
80 FPOs which we have formed and reaching out to 4 lakh women. So this is regarding the statistics related to farm sector. When we come to non-farm sector, there is, uh, this is a very, uh, matlab, to show you uh, and to make you understand uh, better, recently, like two, three weeks back, uh, my colleagues are also here from IIMC, we had this beautiful workshop in Bangalore on incubation. So I would like to say this in the coming years, this would be the flagship program where all the people who are working in the entrepreneurship uh, space would be focusing on. So incubation is the next big thing which will happen. And uh, I, would I will not go deep into this, how the incubation happens, because I think my colleagues from IMC would be talking about it more. So it happens in uh, five major phases. And uh, I'll not go deep into it, but I'm more concerned about this thing. So what NRLM is dealing, we are having interventions at sixth level under non-farm sector. We have the small village entrepreneurship program. We have one-stop facility. We have micro enterprises development incubator and uh, cluster approach. And also through Ajivika Gramin Express Yojana, we are giving the vehicles. I'll not explain all these uh, schemes in detail in this forum. For anyone who are interested in these schemes, we can talk later. But what I wanted to stress upon on this uh, dias is, many organizations are working in incubator space. But I would like to say where the strength of NRLM lies is we are working in the very grassroots level. We are penetrating, we are reaching out to that last person in the community, last mile of the community. We are reaching through all these uh, uh, interventions of uh, day NRLM under non-farm sector. So all this, if you see, by itself, it is an incubator, but at a very small space. When we sp speak about incubation at a larger perspective where we are including IIMs, agencies like IIMs, IITs, that is at a very macro level where the uh, business starts from like in karodon ke, lakhon ke, uh, isab se shuru hota hai. But for us, as we are working with really nano entrepreneurial women, for us, the scale is very small to begin with. So for us, this is very important where we deal with micro enterprise development, for instance, small village entrepreneurship. So I ask, I say, I I would like to say in this forum that people who are interested in this space, please uh, join hands with us where we can strengthen this because uh, working at state level is not that difficult. N working at national level is not that difficult. But capacity building has already sir, st stressed in, the, uh, in his opening remarks. Capacity building is very important. So making group of these uh, women at a at grassroots level, capacity building them. And I also say in many forums, if you are able to make a woman think in that as an entrepreneurship. I, I, yesterday also when uh, addressing Didi's, I said, aap Didi se beyond aap ne grow kiya hai. Abhi aap business woman ne. If a woman starts thinking that I am a business woman, I feel that is in itself an achievement. So I, when I visited a uh, few of the states, uh, villages and all, I got to see many beautiful examples where women say that one woman was doing very simple thing. Matlab she was making... Uh, buttermilk out of yogurt and she was selling and that was a simple calculation what we she got to do matlab yogurt mein mujhe 20 rupai mein milta hai but if i charge what is that Cha <laughs> sorry charge bana ke bejo to 50 rupai milega it might sound very simple very uh, is a small hai but i appreciated her entrepreneurship qualities so, usi se shuru hona hai so our work as dnrlm i say we work from that level it is not like bade bade dam pe nahi. we don't obviously that is the target in the coming years we have to reach there but the beginning point is this if my didi is able to even get a profit make a profit of 50 rupees in a day through this entrepreneurship through this thing that is an achievement for all of us who are working in this space so this is what i wanted to say we need to finish this uh, panel discussion yeah, yes, sir. Everyone. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, sir, you also focused on way forward. And uh, I would like to say in the coming days, we would be working towards deepening, strengthening, and also expanding. DNRLM is here for taking up all the new interventions, innovative things to, across the country, across 34 states. So, whatever things we come up with, we will be 
implementing, spreading it, expanding across all the states in the India. And with this, I <laughs> conclude my talk. Thank you so much. So talking about incubation, uh, we have uh, Subranchu Sanyal from I am Cal Calcutta CIP. They've incubated, worked with a lot of enterprises and helped them scale up to large number uh, figures. So Subranchu, could you just share your experiences of working with food service en enterprises in the states where you've incubated them? Yeah, thank you, Rekhi ji. Uh, good morning, everybody. So uh, that the advantage of speaking last is that if you don't have anything in your mind, you can pick up from whatever has been said and you can assemble, right? So uh, if since everybody is... Huh? No, no, I'll take advantage of that, okay? And I'll pick up a few words from Chalanji sir. Three things you have mentioned, that food is a sector where there is no dearth of demand. Always there is a demand, right? But still, if you look at the statistics, 1% of uh, products are only exported from India, right? From that global statistic. Even I don't have the statistics, I would request someone to do the study that what percentage of SAG produced products are even consumed in India? Because it's all flooded with multinationals and our the products made by Audidi, in spite of being unique, are not consumed. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll give you some answer from our experience, which we did uh, you know, uh, in the incubation program. Uh, the objective was to scale up and create sustainable businesses. How did these businesses scale up? Because unless you scale up and sustain, you will not be able to cater to a bigger market. As simple as that. Now, I will borrow something which you said, Chiranjit said, that don't give a fish, you teach people how to fish. Actually, there is another level on the top of it which has been created. You teach people how to fish, but also teach them how to, work, how to create a fishing industry so that you not only take care of your own hunger, you generate enough surplus which will bring more people into the industry and create more livelihood. And that is the concept of new age social entrepreneurship. And I think our segment of Didi's are perfect example of social enterprises, the groups and all. So let us focus on taking the capacity building to the next level and help them build industry. And we have, Tulika Didi mentioned her story and we have another story. Yeah. Mila hai na? I know you. I did, I was, you know, I'll use one story from Assam, okay? A scale up karne ka secret ek hi hai. See, sometimes there are some very basic, um, basics which we forget. Management guru Peter Drucker mentioned, any business has only two, only two basic functions to do. One is innovation, second is marketing. Everything else is support services. And trust me, bada corporate, chota corporate, everybody has the same problem. They focus on everything else other than these two parts. And same thing happens within the SHGs also. Now what do I mean by this? Kya hai marketing? Kya hai innovation? Okay, I'll not use a, you know, give you gyan. Marketing, most of the people think that it is branding, promotion, selling. That is only 25% of marketing. And that's the reason these linkages are not successful. They are, you know, typical Philip Kotler marketing mix, four Ps. Product, price, place and then promotion. These three things, if it's not taken care, last one will fail. And that's the reason it's happening. I'll give you an example how it can help. You know Kuhi food products, Kuhi tea bar. One Didi from Assam, she had a tea bar and restaurant on a highway. And you know what typically it happens, right? When we started incubation, we, say, we gave them this knowledge. We said, okay, find out what would be your product. And foods, if you want to make money with foods, then food will not be a product which you take to you know, take care of your hunger. Food is actually experience. If you sell food, you will not make money. If you sell experience, you will make money. That's a simple thing she realized. The same food, she purchased bell metal utensils, put in nice presentation. Her restaurant was started selling more than any other restaurant elsewhere because people started getting that ethnic, ethnic experience. Uske baad kya hua? She realized people like some, let's say a ladu or a pita, which is very famous in Assam. They would like to take some home. That brought the next innovation. She started packaging this ladu and pita. That was not enough. She realized some people who are coming from outside, they get excited. 
that okay this is for lunch what is for breakfast what is for dinner can i stay here for two days she expanded that same thing to home stay now you go to kuhi fruit uh, food product uh, this thing uh, uh, industry it, it has become like an industry ready made food uh, take home food as well as home stay this talks about product pricing the experience got premium pricing place how you distribute word of mouth social media now people are looking forward to stay at kuhi foods home stay okay and sales and promotion obvious right so innovation can be product can be process and also can be business model there is one sag led home stay in Ka kalingpong called kafer home stay just do a google you will see plenty of youtube vi videos on kafer home stay high rating and if i tell you none of the videos are made by the owner all are made by customers and promoted by customers this is what is the dimension of promotion when customers talk about you that's the best promotion he doesn't spend a single paisa on marketing means promotion so there are multiple dimensions that's why i'm trying to highlight you aapko innovation lana hai uske sath marketing ka char p practice karna hai this is very simple the secret of scaling up your industry and i get inspired by these is that how they innovate which i have not seen such innovation frugal innovation while studying my mba also one example is rinku didi coming from kujbihar and rekhi ji with your permission i'll ask a question to rinku didi she has doubled her revenue in one year's time okay she has her uh, she had four employees now uh, four year five panch employee tha aapke paas abhi 14 hai doubled employment also in only one year's time rinku didi आप सबको बताना है ये मैजिक कैसे किया आपने चमत्कार क्या है ठीक है एंड दैट विल टॉक अबाउट ऑल द थ्योरी दैट आई एम टॉकिंग नमस्ते सभी लोगों को तो हम तो बंगाल है बंगाली के बाद कंफर्टेबल फील है तो हिंदी बोलेंगे तो ज़्यादा गलत हो जाएगा तो आप लोग माफ़ कर दीजिए हम गांव में रहते हैं शहर से बहुत दूर है हमारा गाँव जब मैं ये बिजनेस स्टार्ट किया पहले मैं एज का मेंबर हूँ तो तब मशरूम का हमारा बिजनेस है मशरूम कल्टीवेशन और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग दोनों का तो जब मैं पहली बार स्टार्ट किया चौदह साल में तो मशरूम का बारे में हमारा गांव में कुछ भी कोई की पता नहीं है जो मशरूम क्या है तो मुझे भी पता नहीं है एक रिलेटिव में देखा था जो, जो प्रशिक्षण ले स्टार्ट किया था तो मैंने वो जा के देखा मुझे अच्छा लगा जो जो फ्लावर है ना मशरूम का तो उसका मुझे खूब पसंद आया कल्टीवेशन के करने लिए तो मेरा मन में भी इच्छा जगह था जो कहीं मैं भी करूं हाउस वाइफ ही है मैं तो कुछ तो काम करना ही है तो सबसे पहले एक ज़रूरत है जो खुद का पैसा बनाना जरूरी है जो हमारा जो महिला है तो पीछे रहता है तो क्यों नहीं करेंगे तो घर में सब कुछ काज करने का बाद हम मशरूम का प्रशिक्षण लेकर जानकारी का बाद एक प्रतिष्ठान मिला था पुंडीबाड़ी कृषि विश्वविद्यालय वहाँ पे मैं प्रशिक्षण लेके फाइव थाउजेंड पहले ज़्यादा पैसा नहीं जे तो अगर मुझे पता ही नहीं है तो मैं ज़्यादा पैसा नहीं लगाना है बिजनेस में थोड़ा पैसा फाइव थाउजेंड पैसा ले हम कल्टिवेशन शुरू किया था तो जब कल्टीवेशन शुरू किया था तो आ, हमारा जो गांव में है तो जो लोग रहता है तो सब कुछ पूछता है जो क्या है क्या चीज़ लगा रहे हो आप कि पागल है आप मैंने इस तरीका से हमको बताएं कि आपका पागल है तो खाना का चीज़ें नहीं है खाने को तो लोग मरता है ये भी गांव का लोगों का जानकारी दे जो मशरूम खाने के लोग मर जाते हैं तो हम इस बारे में आ, पुंडीबाड़ी कृषि विश्वविद्यालय जो ट्रेनिंग मिला था तो सब कुछ तो मुझे तो मिला जानकारी मिला जो मशरूम का बेनिफिट क्या है हेल्थ बेनिफिट बहुत है मशरूम का तो जब कल्टीवेशन का बहुत फ्लोवर उठाना शुरू हो गया तो मैं थोड़ा थोड़ा लेके सब सबको बांट देती हूँ जब आप ट्राई करो पहले फ्री से मैं देती हूँ तो जब उन्हें लोग को पता चलेगा जो मशरूम टेस्टी भी है 
खाने का टेस्टी वे है तो धीरे धीरे चल उन लोगों को पता है जो ए हेल्थ भी बेनिफिट है मशरूम का ज़्यादा परिमाण जो वेजिटेबल है ना तो सब कुछ अलग तरीका है मशरूम का जो आयरन भी बहुत है शुगर का शुगर शुगर डायबिटीज को जो आ, होता है ना तो मेंटेन करते हैं कोलेस्ट्रॉल भी मशरूम खाने का मेंटेन करते हैं तो आ, जब उन लोगों को आ, हम दे के बाद पसंद आ गया कुछ दिन कुछ दिन का बाद तो उन लोगों ने मुझे मुझसे खरीद कर लिया खरीद कर लिया जो दे दो तो मैंने आ, सोचा था जो ए, इस बिजनेस का कैसे बढ़ाएंगे तो लोकल जो मार्केट है पहले लोकल मार्केट में थोड़ा थोड़ा जो बाजार में बैठा सब्जी वाला सब्जी वाला को देती हूँ तो धीरे धीरे जब लोगों को पता चलेगा तो मैं क्या कर मैं क्या कर सकती तो पहले जो बिजनेस था सिर्फ कल्टीवेशन ही था मैन्युफैक्चरिंग नहीं था तो मैं जे अगर आई एम से जब जुड़ी हूँ तो तब से तब का बात मुझे पता चलेगा जो बिजनेस कैसे बढ़ाएंगे बिजनेस के बारे में क्या जानकारी है हम लोग सिलीगुड़ी में आए था सर सर ने प्रशिक्षण दिया था जो बिजनेस का साफल्य कैसे मिलेगा तो बिजनेस करने का तीन चीज़ है जो एक गोल था लाइफ में गोल होना चाहिए सबको जो क्या करना है यार और कॉन्फिडेंस कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं था तो कुछ भी हम लोग नहीं कर पाए और क्या जो बिजनेस हम करेंगे वो बिजनेस के बारे में जानकारी जानना चाहिए तो ए प्रशिक्षण मिल के बाद हम लोग शुरुआत किया तो जब पहले हम बिजनेस किया था तो अलग सोच था तो जब आई एम से जुड़ी हूँ तब अलग सोच आया जो इंटरेस्ट बढ़ गया जो हर बिजनेस में करके ऐसा हो होता है तो जब कल्टीवेशन करके करके हम यह मैन्युफैक्चरिंग भी किया जो पिकल मशरूम का फ्रेश मशरूम का ऑर्गेनिक में कुछ केमिकल नहीं था केमिकल मिक्स मेरा पिक, पिकल से नहीं था और उसका साथ मैंने एक चीज़ बनाया जो मशरूम का जो फ्रेश मशरूम का है लिक्विड के साथ जुड़ा जो पापुर बनाया मशरूम का पापुर और आ, हम लोग जो बाज़ार में बोरी खाते हैं डाल का बोरी तो मैंने एक सोचा डाल का बोरी तो है डाल का बोरी का साथ जो तो फ्रेश मशरूम का बरीक बरीक पीस करने का जो मिक्स करेंगे तो वो तो हेल्दी बेनिफिट हो जाएगा तो ऐसा करके मैं डिस्ट्रिक्ट को भेज देती हूँ मैं खुद को क्रिएट करती हूँ जो मशरूम का ऐसा 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 बनाएंगे तो कैसे लगा तो डिस्ट्रिक्ट में जब दे, दे, देखा दिया था वो सब लोग टेस्ट करने के बाद बहुत मज़ा आया क्योंकि बहुत ही टेस्टी है आपका पापड़ बहुत ही टेस्टी है आपका बड़ी तो तब मुझे कॉन्फिडेंस आया था जो हाँ मैंने जो क्रिएट किया था तो सही है सही तरीके से चल रहे हैं तो आई एम से सब जुड़ी हूँ तब से मेरा फैसा ही लाइसेंस मिला था रजिस्ट्रेशन रे, किया था और आ, नाव मीशो से ऑनलाइन से मेरा ऑनबोर्डिंग हुआ था तो पहले तो हमको कुछ भी पता नहीं है जो आई एम से आने के बाद मेरा बिजनेस के पूरा आइडिया मिला था तो हम जब पहले शुरू किया था फाइव थाउजेंड के लिए अब तो हम महीने से मैं दूल्हा घर अलग से मैं लगाती हूँ इन्वेस्ट करती हूँ तो ईयरली मुझे पच्चीस तीस लाख हो जाते हैं टर्न ओवर तो यही यही है जो हमारे मुझे देख के मुझे देख के हमारे पास जो एज का महिला है गांव का को उत्साह हुआ जो ए दीदी ने जो किया था तो हम की कल्टीवेशन कर तो मैंने उस उस लोगों को प्रपोज किया था जो प्रपोजल दिया था जहाँ आप आपको लगाओ क्यों मैं बढ़ आपको साथ का आगे बढ़ना है सबको साथ के आगे बढ़ने का प्रयास करने तो उन लोगों को कल्टिवेशन किया उन लोगों को जो मशरूम है मैंने खरीद के लिया खरीद के बाहर एक्सपोर्ट करती हूँ आश्रम मेरा मशरूम आश्रम जाते हैं दार्जिलिंग भी आते हैं तो हम लोकल जो मार्केट है होलसेल भी दे, देती हूँ तो ऐसे करके मुझे लगता है जो हाँ हम कुछ कर पाए जिंदगी में तो आई एम से नहीं होते तो हम लोग तो यहाँ भी यूँ नहीं आते भाई तो थैंक यू आई एम से थैंक यू धन्यवाद
थैंक यू दीदी बहुत इंस्पायरिंग uh, स्टोरी थी आपकी नाउ द लास्ट स्पीकर इज डॉक्टर संगीता अग्रवाल फ्रॉम द पी एम्स एडवाइजर टू ऑन साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी मैम यूल हैव टू बी रियली शॉर्ट वी ओवर स्टेप्ड एंड पीपल फ्रॉम द अदर सेशन आर ओपनिंग द डोर पीपिंग एंड एंड गोइंग बैक नमस्कार एवरीवन आई डोंट नो हम कैसे शुरुआत करें बट मैं एक ऐसे ऑफिस से बिलोंग करती हूँ uh, जिसको ऑफिस ऑफ प्रिंसिपल साइंटिफिक एडवाइज़र कहते हैं ये ऑफिस प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफिस को एडवाइज करता है हर उस चीज़ पे जिसका कि साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी से कुछ भी लेना देना है ये साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी जब हम कहते हैं तो जनरली वी मीन वॉट इज़ देयर इन द लैब लेबोरेटरी में क्या चल रहा है बट साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी अभी कुछ सालों से uh, सिर्फ लेबोरेटरी में कैद होकर नहीं रह गया है हम लेबोरेटरी से बाहर निकलने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और ऐसी इनोवेटिव प्रोडक्ट्स लेके आने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं जिससे हम सभी की ज़िंदगियों में कुछ चेंजेस आएँ कोई बदलाव आए और वो बदलाव अच्छे के लिए हो सो so, ये कोशिश है साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी मिनिस्ट्रीज़ की कि uh, कुछ इस तरीके के प्रोडक्ट्स बने जिनसे कि uh, हम सबके ज़िंदगी में जो छोटे मोटे चैलेंजेस होते हैं उन चैलेंजेस को हम ओवर कर पाएँ तो so, मैं uh, उसी तरीके का मिशन मैं लीड करती हूँ फ्रॉम ऑफिस ऑफ पीएसए जिसको कहते हैं साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इंटरवेंशंस फॉर सस्टेनेबल लाइवलीहुड मिशन सो इसी मिशन के तहत हम लोग कोशिश ये कर रहे हैं कि हम जितनी मिनिस्ट्रीज़ हैं उनके अलग अलग कार्यक्रम चल रहे हैं प्रोग्राम्स चल रहे हैं उन सभी को मिला के हम लाइवलीहुड की तरफ इस तरीके से लेके जाएं कि जो भी गैप्स हैं चैलेंजेस हैं उनको ओवरकम करते हुए हम उनको वी आर एबल टू ब्रिंग द सस्टेनेबिलिटी इन द लाइवलीहुड सिस्टम सो इस एम के साथ हम आगे बढ़ने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और मैं आपको सिर्फ अब क्विकली एक या दो एग्जाम्पल्स दिखाना चाहूँगी जो कि ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी मिनिस्ट्रीज़ ने डेवलप किए हैं जो कि फूड इंडस्ट्री से रिलेटेड हैं जहाँ हम कोशिश ये कर रहे हैं कि कुछ चैलेंजेस को जो कि रेज रोज़मर्रा की ज़िंदगी में हम लोग फेस कर रहे हैं जो हमारे रूरल वुमेन फेस कर रही हैं उनको हम ओवर कर पाए सो ये एक एक एग्ज़ाम्पल यहाँ पर अब आपके स्लाइड्स में दिख रहा है जहाँ पर कि आपके पास वुमेन वेन दे वर मेकिंग द हैंडलूम दे वर हैविंग रियली ट्रबल उनका एफिशिएंसी कम था बट बाय चेंजिंग और गिविंग सम साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इंटरवेंशंस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक जैकर्ड हैंडलूम से की वजह से आपका एफिशिएंसी भी बढ़ गया आपका जड प्रोजेक्ट्री कम हो गया और इस तरीके से आपने लाइवलीहुड को सस्टेनेबल बनाया अभी uh, इन स्लाइड्स में मैं आपको कुछ प्रोडक्ट्स दिखा रही हूँ जैसे कि एक फर्स्ट वाले में अब आपको दिख रहा है मोबाइल सब्जी कूलर सो ये एक सब्जी कूलर है जिसमें कि कोई फ्यूल कोई इलेक्ट्रिसिटी किसी की ज़रूरत नहीं है और आप सब्जियों को आप रॉ मटेरियल को आप जो पेरिशेबल है ख़राब हो जाता है उनको इस सब्जी कूलर में रख सकते हैं आप उनकी शेल्फ लाइफ बढ़ा सकते हैं और उसी तरीके से आप अपना आगे लाइवलीहुड में जो प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं पेरिशेबल आइटम्स के साथ में उसको ओवरकम कर सकते हैं नीचे आपको दिख रहा होगा एक रेट्रोफिट वेंडिंग कार्ट सो दिस इज़ अ वेंडिंग कार्ट जहाँ की कूलिंग है इसका तापमान करीबन पाँच से छः डिग्री कम होता है कंपेयर टू द बाकी एटमोस्फेरिक टेम्परेचर और इसका इसमें सब्जियों को ले जाके वुमेन कैन सेल दैम सो दिस इज़ अ वेंडिंग कार्ड डेवलप्ड फॉर दैट पर्पस इस टेक्नोलॉजी का ऑलरेडी तमिलनाडु में इनको वेंडिंग कार्ड्स को ऑलरेडी दिया जा चुका है देर आर अडर प्रोडक्ट्स एक मैं आपको इस कॉर्नर में जो दिख रहा है सब्जी कोटी इसके बारे में जस्ट बताना चाहूँगी कि ये सब्जी कोटी है जिसमें कि एक स्टोरेज 
यूनिट है जहाँ की आप स्टोर कर सकते हैं और आपका जो पेरिशेबल आइटम है उसका शेल्फ लाइफ बना सकते हैं बढ़ा सकते हैं और इसमें जो टेक्नोलॉजी यूज़ होती है वो इस तरीके से टेक्नोलॉजी है कि आपका जो चीज़ें ख़राब होती है वो एक गैस की वजह से ख़राब होती है इस प्रोडक्ट में वो गैस हटा दी जाती है उसकी वजह से आपकी जो चीज़ें हैं सब्ज़ी है या कोई भी हम खाना का सामान है वो उसका शेल्फ लाइफ बढ़ जाता है सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स और एक आपको क्योंकि वी हैव सम पीपल फ्रॉम आवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट आई जस्ट वांट टू ब्रिंग अटेंशन टू दैट सो दिस इज़ अ साइकिल विच हैज़ बैम्बू कार्ट ऑन इट सो दीज बैम्बू कार्ट्स आर एनेबलिंग द वमेन टू टेक द प्रोडक्ट टू द मार्केट लाइक विच दे वर अर्लियर एबल टू टेक ओनली ट्वेंटी के जीज विद दिस दे आर एबल टू नाउ टेक इट लाइक हंड्रेड हंड्रेड फिफ्टी के जीज और मे बी टू हंड्रेड के जीज ऑल्सो टू द मार्केट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस देर आर सम प्लेटफॉर्म्स विच आर क्रिएटेड विच आर एबल टू टेक द यू नो द प्रोड्यूस फ्राम द लैब फ्राम द फ्राम द प्लेस विच इज़ प्रोड्यूस्ड टू द मार्केट सो विद दिस आई विल जस्ट shortly try to stop myself but what i am trying to bring uh, to everyone's attention is that uh, there are iits who have been involved in making uh, technologies which are region specific us particular region mein kya problems face hoti hain उनसे रिलेटेड क्या प्रोडक्ट्स बन सकते हैं उस तरीके की टेक्नोलॉजीज हम लोग डेवलप करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं बहुत सारी ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजीज़ ऑलरेडी मार्केट में भी आ चुकी है और हम अब जुड़ना चाह रहे हैं एम ओ आर डी के साथ में और द रूरल लाइवलीहुड मिशन के साथ में ताकि दीदियों के साथ मिल हम इन प्रोडक्ट्स को उन लोगों तक पहुँचा पाएँ जिनको इनकी सबसे ज़्यादा ज़रूरत है सो so, ये कोशिश है साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी मिनिस्ट्रीज़ की कि इस हम लोग इन तरीके इस तरीके के प्रोडक्ट्स को आगे लेके जा पाए सो सर थैंक यू आई जस्ट वांट टू ऐड वन थिंग सर इंक्यूबेशन वर्कशॉप में भी हर टीम वाज देयर अलोंग विद ऑल द आईआईटीज सो व्हेन वी थिंक टॉक अबाउट क्रिएटिंग लाइवलीहुड से जो एंटरप्रोनरशिप की टेक्नोलॉजी की बहुत ही बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है फोकस होता है उस पर तो इन द कमिंग डेज वी वुड बी वर्किंग क्लोजली एंड डिसमिनेट ऑल द टेक्नोलॉजीज अक्रॉस द कंट्रीज थैंक यू Thank you, all the panelists. It was a very good discussion. Unfortunately, we were stuck for time, but enough and more food for thought. ASR ne diya, aap logon ne diya. Hamko kam karna hai ispe, aur di logon ko lakpati banana hai. Thank you very much. And before we split, I would request everybody to visit the India Food Court, which is here. Uh, thank you so much, all the panelists. I would uh, request all of you to stay for a moment. We have uh, some token of uh, gratitude from our side. I would request all of you to take it. I request Rajiv ji to give the token of appreciation. Should we leave the room? Yeah, yeah, we'll be leaving the. <laughs> no, no, please stay on the stage for a while. After that, you can leave the room. We can visit our stalls. We have a food court. Didi, you can also come. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, uh, we'll be having a group photograph also. I request ASR also to come and join for a group photograph.
Thank you.